Hi, and welcome to DX Engineering's Q&A Wednesday. I'm Mark, W8BBQ. I'm Rod, K8RR. And we're here today to discuss different methods of weatherproofing your coax connectors. We get a lot of questions on how to... Very common question, yep. how do I weatherproof my connectors? Right. So And here we have everything that you need to do so. That's right. So a weatherproofing, we will go. So uh, the first thing, when you put a couple of connectors together, like this uh, little uh, double female... Barrel connector. Barrel, you know, they, people call it a barrel connector. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, double female... Uh, SO239 or UHF female. Um, I'll put that on there. Sometimes you're going to put two connectors, uh, two cables together, mm -hmm. and then you'll screw them together, and then you'll need to uh, weather, some, weather yeah, seal. Yeah, some way to uh, make sure so. that uh, you're keeping all the elements out of your connection. So sometimes, um, in, in most circumstances, not every single one, certainly not on a radio, um, but, but in outdoor connectors, uh, on uh, equipment or balance or what, ha what have you, you might use some dielectric grease um, that uh, goes around the threads and mm -hmm. it'll, uh, it'll uh, block moisture from getting inside of the connector and corroding the, the, uh, right. the center pins. And not much is needed. But yeah, very little on the threads and that'll keep the corrosion out. So, so dielectric grease um, is like a silicone type tune-up yep. grease. It, um, it doesn't have any metal particles in it. Do not ever use a medical, a metal particle paste in connectors. Let's a, say that three times. That's a tongue twister. Yeah, so that's step one. Yeah. Um, a lot of times when it's just a temporary quick connection, you'll use some uh, Super 33 or some Super 88, uh, the 30, Super 33 plus um, around it, mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's good uh, for a quickie. Um, especially if you're going to be taken back apart real fast. Exactly. Especially uh, just like, you know, one day test or something right. like that. Um, for the more permanent uh, deals, we've got this uh, electrical moisture sealant pad. Right. We, we've got a lot of different products out here, but um, basically really there's only two to, to make it easy. There's um, some weatherproofing material and electrical tape. And the weatherproofing material is what keeps the moisture and, and the water and everything out of your, your connection. But um, this type of product usually has no UV protection. So that's where the electrical tape comes in because it does. So it's usually a two-step process. And so we're going to do one real quick here. Yeah, let's here. do that. Let's, do, let's, let's put some... Uh, now, instead of the gooey stuff that uh, leaves a residue on the connector, um, which... Uh, it's available in various uh, forms. These pads, or this uh, um, this pad that you can cut into strips, and then peel it off and mold around the connector. We're not going to do the gooey residue leaving version. We're going to do this quick um, and non-residue version. Go ahead and uh, take that Tim Flex. You mm -hmm. can hold that, and uh, and then we peel the backing off the, off the. Tim Flex. This uh -huh. is uh, the hardest part of the job. Yeah, this is the hardest part. You should have done this ahead of time, right? Well, you shouldn't have cut your nails this morning. Well, I didn't. I thought I thought they were going to work. <laughs> there we go. So, so um, this is the type of uh, rubber type tape that does not have any adhesive. Right. Well, it only sticks it to it sticks to itself. There you go. Yeah. So, we'll put this on here, and then we pull and stretch. Actually, I should do that from the very beginning, right? Pull and stretch. Makes a tighter and, form. And wrap it around the connector so that it's, it almost turns like gray as opposed to being black when it's stretched enough mm -hmm. to be sealed and then when it's going to stick to itself. Right. 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 If it's stretched too far, then it gets too light and then it's not going to do as much sealing. But this is the, this is basically the idea is to put this um, self, uh, adhesive. Yeah, yeah self-adhesive tape right. onto the connectors. What I like to do personally with, uh, you know, everybody has a different way of doing things. I actually like to put uh, a, a roll, um, a run of electrical tape on first. Um, just uh, sometimes it aids in the ease uh, when you go to disassemble. Um, you know, no, no sticky stuff uh, laying around on the connectors. But so basically yeah. what you're doing here is um, 
you're putting the moisture protectant on first. So there it is, it's done. Yep. Now that's a completely sealed joint. Right, look how nice, good job, Rock. But it's not UV protected. No, it's not. So we use some electrical tape. Right. And we'll put some, some of this uh, awesome Scotch uh, Super 88. This is the Temflex 2155 Scotch, and then this is the Scotch uh, Super 88. And we'll put some of this on, and then I'll just do this probably just a little, a little ways to show what we would expect to happen here. Mm -hmm. And this isn't going to be pretty. If you do it really nice and slow, it'll be a lot prettier. Right. But if you do it quick like this, and, and this is okay. Uh, the the, uh, the temp flex and then the electrical tape is good uh, for the quick non-permanent uh, or permanent installation. Um, like Mark said, you might want to put some of this tape on first and then put on uh, the Temflex and then because Temflex doesn't stand up to UV, mm -hmm. you put in the Scotch 88. This this will stay uh, a good sealed connection for yep. years and years. Exactly. Even out in the sun. So now you've so, got the sun protection, the water so protection. You've got, yeah, right, you've got it all. You've got the uh, uh, water seal and sun protection. And the beauty of this type of a connection is that you can score this. And that, you know, this is why it's good for, for uh, temporary too. Did I get it scored enough? Mm. Probably not. <laughs> yeah. This is, this, is, this is the reason why Mark likes to do the tape first. This is why I put right. the electrical tape on. For yeah, me. because it makes it a little easier to pull this apart. But as you can see... That it does come right off. That it, it, it all comes right off without a residue. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the goal yep. in, my, in my book. That's right. Temflex and Super 88. Right. The and, best electrical. And most of this, like we said, uh, same type product. This is just a larger kit. Um, you know, if you just installed your antenna farm and you're really going to town, yeah. you've got a lot of stuff here. Um, the electrical tape, uh, like Rod said, this is kind of, uh, a lot of people might refer to this as? Um, coax coax seal. Coax yeah, seal, seal, right, coax right. Seal, right. But uh, basically what you need to, to get started, if you've, uh, you know, got a few antennas and stuff like that, um, and we do have them in kits also, but a roll of electrical tape, a roll of the uh, 2155 Temflex, yeah. Temflex. Uh, Temflex yeah. and you'll be good to go. Thanks for coming. We'll see you. 73.